And now, your Precision 18 forecast. News 18. Weather from where you live. Well, here's what we're tracking. This is our viewing area, but down to the south, three, or actually two pieces south of us, one piece northwest of us, all coming together for one main winter storm system that'll bring a, a little mix, but also snow, a lot of wind, and uh, you know a lot of blowing and drifting snow, especially Thursday with the coldest weather so far this fall and winter. So piece one, piece two, piece three, all will come to uh, kind of give us a wake-up call with wintry weather for a change. Mostly cloudy through the evening hours, at 29 by 11 o'clock, and then we go completely overcast by 7 o'clock in the morning. Not much wind. We'll drop to eventually a low of 25. Tomorrow, 36. Now, by 1 p.m., a little mix and a little cold rain is going to be coming into our southwest counties, and then we go to a little icy mix and then trending more towards snow by 5 o'clock. This is all going to overspread the area between 1 and 4 p.m. from southwest to northeast. And again, mix and a little cold rain trending to more and more snow as the evening goes on. And then tomorrow night we go to all snow. Wind not an issue at first, but the winds begin to crank up late. But this will be a heavy wet snow until Thursday. Then it becomes dry and powdery as temperatures fall. Still some periods of snow Thursday afternoon evening. A lot of blowing and drifting. Plus, watch the wind increase. By 5 p.m. on Thursday, sustained winds at 24s, gusts exceeding 30 miles an hour. We'll be down to 14 with wind chills below zero at that point. So it's overcast by 4 o'clock in the morning. Here comes a little mix at the onset, and then we quickly go to snow. Again, overspreading the area between 1 and 4 p.m. This is 8.30 tomorrow night, still snowing at midnight and snowing right into early Thursday morning as well. And then snow, at least periods of snow lasting right through Thursday and into Thursday evening before tapering to snow showers Thursday night. And total accumulations, three to as much as six inches for much of the viewing area. There could be some very minor, very brief ice accumulations. Highest amount, six to nine inches here in our northwest, parts of Newton, parts of Jasper, far northwestern Pulaski County. If you want to get an idea of when the conditions will be the worst, it's going to be Wednesday night and Thursday. Thursday mainly because of the blowing and drifting from the strong winds. Note the winds here cranking up with time late Wednesday night and on Thursday. Uh, gusts easily exceeding 30 miles an hour, and the winds continue right into Thursday night. When you combine the falling temperatures with these strong gusty winds, wind chills dropping below zero Thursday, and I think we may find some wind chills that are less than 20 below zero at times early on Friday morning. So bitterly cold air coming in, but then we warm up on Saturday, but still some blowing and drifting issues with a little light snow and light rain coming in by Sunday afternoon. But we've got to get through this first. 31 then falling on Thursday. A lot of sun, but cold Friday. Very cold Friday evening, then rising temperatures late. 34 and windy Saturday with some blowing and drifting snow. 38 on Sunday. And then, you know, late Monday evening to early Tuesday morning, it's literally going to be not even a 40-hour spring, not even a 30-hour spring, more like about an 18-hour spring as temperatures warm into the 50s with a good amount of rain. All right, well, at least that cold is only a couple of days. That's right. in there. Yeah, thanks, Chad. Okay.